Hello guys, welcome back to uh, Wolfenstein, and we're doing this again. Remember that? I've been failing this pretty hard. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm gonna save the grenade launcher to somebody who actually deserves it. Before, oh shit, there he is. Oh my god, I'd like to clear out the uh, others before I get to him. But that appears to be not really an option. God damn it. Alright, it's just me and the Grenadier. Do you like that? Okay, he's dead. So, this part has been bothering me for a long time. The same can be said for the part that's going to follow this. But we are going to get through it. Won't we? Yes, check your ammo. Ah, that's actually my job, isn't it? Yeah, that guy. Uh, I'm gonna try to take out th this person. Well, I'm still at a relatively... Well, with, with some distance between us. Holy shit! You know what? When this thing works, it really fucking works. It's nice to explore these cars without the interference of bullets flying all around. That's certainly a... Oh, that's where I'm supposed to go. That's where the scientist is. Hey, I made it. I'm gonna get your stuff. Let's go. Whoa! Uh, the scientist appears to be a little bit dead. Is that gonna be a problem? Got the papers. Now what? It appears to be not a problem. Holy shit. Your equipment from the luggage area once you've arrived at the lunar base. Finally, you need to find those nuclear decryption keys. Oh yeah, we mustn't forget about the nuclear decryption keys. Holy shit, I'm on the moon. Baby, I would go to the moon and back for you. And I mean that literally. Here we go. Labor camp planned on the moon. Berlin, November 15th, 1960. New plans for the construction of labor camps on the moon were revealed today by Dieter Lang, the head of the, the, head of the lunar base project. Not only will we be able to move undesirable elements of society off the earth away from the decent citizens, we can also put these degenerates to work on mining wolframite. 
said Lan when we phoned him this morning. Wolframite, a rare mineral which has so far only been found on the moon, is currently being extracted by remote-controlled drones, but the process is slow and inefficient. The new labor camps would be constructed in underground mine shafts and feature almost completely automatized correctional technology, such as guard drones and automatic sentry guns to keep prisoners from escaping. Well, it is pretty difficult to escape from the moon. I mean, where are you gonna go? Okay, uh, time to collect my luggage. Holy shit. So, which one is for my shadow? I hope I don't have to wait for an hour for the luggage. That has actually happened to me at airports. I freaking hate that. I avoid taking extra luggage whenever possible. That is what, okay, let's read this. I'm, I'm gonna finish. That's why I usually pack like a huge backpack, but it's but it's still just a backpack. So I still take that into the uh, with me. And into the cabin, and so I don't have to collect the luggage, because it, it's there's always some problem with luggage collection. Not that I've ever lost any luggage before, but I hate the process. I hate waiting for it. Uh, okay, terrorist attack Gibraltar Bridge. Hmm, that might be me, Casablanca. A terrorist attack struck the G Gibraltar Bridge in the middle of rush hour Thursday morning, leaving hundreds dead and thousands more injured. Officials believe that a fanatical group of anarchists are behind the attack, but if the goal was to destroy the hard labor of the thousands of construction workers who put their heart and soul into realizing the Gibraltar Bridge project, it seems the terrorists have failed. They hardly put a dent in it, laughs the head of the project. Really? Hi there. Am I going back to the plane? Yeah, this is the wrong way. And what is this? Am I supposed? Is this like your transportation chamber? No, I can't enter it. Might be a good thing. Those things malfunction all the time. Uh, you could you look kind of funny with the mask on. Has anyone ever told you that? Ooh, scary! I will salute if I can, but I don't have that option. At ease! At ease! So fucking tense. Who brought this entire crate up here? Is that really necessary? So which one is gonna be my luggage? Don't tell me I have to fucking wait for it. I hate that shit. Now, are any of these mine? This is even. Oh. Okay. This is weird. Why, why is it not delivered to me? I got a gold cane. Uh, maybe I'm just gonna beat the Nazis with that. Cause it's a golden cane. It's gonna hurt.
Carolyn, Anya, do you read? <laughs> the mouse on this one. I will clean it out with soap. Now, Blaskovich, the goal here is to steal the nuclear decryption keys located in the command module. In order to reach the command module, you have to find a spacesuit and walk there on foot across the lunar surface. Affirmative. I believe in you, William. The spacesuits are kept by the airlock. Your best chance to reach them is first go through the crew quarters, then onwards through the laboratories. Whatever you say. Look at that. Extra knife. We're gonna shank some Nazis. That's a good idea. Hmm. You th you'd think their instinct should be. Why did I have to saw off this part of the wall to get in there? Why did I do that? It's embarrassing. What is this for? Oh shit. Mother f Okay, laser fight. What the hell? What the hell is this? I'm shooting. Jesus. Are you done? Are you quite done? Not quite, it appears. This thing is a motherfucker. Let's see here. How am I supposed to go back? do have to go back, right? It's gonna be awkward if I'm stuck on the moon. You will never know what hit you. The game is just... The game kind of went dirty on that guy, just placing him directly in front of me like that. You might as well, The game might as well just assassinated him for me what's, what's this about? Oops. there's an officer over there yeah you're suspicious aren't you What the hell is going on? Are they are you guys gonna just gonna take turns? Okay, nobody nobody found out about this.
Well, had to happen sometime. Hey, you guys. You are being mean. Okay, gotta go hide. Gotta go hide. What the fuck? No! What happened to my other weapons? I can't conjure them for some reason. What is this about? Oh, I'm about to die. Still, they're not very bright. So this weapon that I'm using, it doesn't seem to have a traditional bullet count. I think it runs on energy, which is really convenient. What did I just do? Can I get more of these? So this seems to be some kind of... I don't even know what this is. Auditorium or science presentation place. I got 20 health and 100% armor. That's a little unbalanced. I'm trying to see. Oh, okay. Ah, health. Exactly what I need. What the fuck? What what is that for? I thought that's something to operate. That blows up. That didn't blow up the last time I tried it. I I did that one in close range too. What what happened? What changed? What is it supposed to be anyway? Oh man, I gotta do this again. This is. This is bullshit. I already won this fight. God damn it. <sighs> if you're watching this, might as well just put the YouTube on, I don't know, two times speed or just skip this part. I don't know. You have my blessing to skip this part. Don't hear a lot of YouTubers say that, do you? Okay. Who wants to go? <sighs> you want to go. Fucking dog takes a lot of health out of me.
Ah, man! Fucking shit. How did I do that the first time? It's more of the state of mind, because... Uh, the fact that I have to do this again just pisses me off, and I can't perform as well. It's only natural. Well, I just gotta get those emotions under control. Okay, so no sudden movements! And... And everything is fine. Everything is totally fine. Fucking dog, every time, every goddamn time. What the fuck? So yeah, this thing does run on energy, but it can be recharged. Someone's using the turret. Ah, <sighs> oh, fucking energy always fails me at the most critical moment. You know what this part reminds me of? Um, what what is the name of the movie? Moonraker. That is a James Bond movie, which came out because it came after Star Wars. So uh, space fight was all the craze at the time, and James Bond followed the suit and did Moonraker. And James Bond went to space, and he he was kind of like this. Just can you imagine James Bond do that today? Like Daniel Craig getting a space suit. Going up to a secret uh, totalitarian moon base or something like that and start shooting lasers with a bunch of guys. It's almost unthinkable, but that's exactly what they did. That It's not one of James Bond's prouder moments, I would say, but it was entertaining in its very own way. Uh, shit. Jeez. Overreacting much? I think I can just wait out everybody here. Oh shit, I overcharged. Fuck! I got no ammo here. Everything was, everything was out. This is a problem. I did. I did. I just do the first time exactly perfectly. But back to Moonraker. You know, one of the most. Uh, surprising benefits of that movie is that there are some video games based on mediocre James Bond mi video games where Moonraker level is actually a highlight just because it's fun it's it's video gamey it, by nature right when you think about it and it and it really is it does help 
good example is that there was a video game that came out, I think, in 2012. Uh, yes, 2012, because it was around that time when Skyfall came out. And that movie was kind of a tie-in and also a celebration of James Bond's 50th anniversary. So that so that game had a lot of... It, it, it has James Bond in Daniel Craig's likeness and featuring uh, some levels from the classic movies like Goldfinger and... Um, I don't know... Uh, one of them is Moonraker. Oh, there was also Die Another Day, which was a weird choice because, like, th does anybody really like that? It's not exactly a, a fan favorite, is it? But yeah, the gold uh, Moonraker was just a pretty a pretty good level in an otherwise mediocre game because shooting laser is fun. And who would have expected that? Who would have expected a Moonraker to be anything of a highlight in anything James Bond ever again? I mean, not that it was ever like that. I do remember the movie was also kind of disappointing following uh, its predecessor was The Spy Who Loved Me, which was by, by far the best uh, James Bond film from the Roger Moore era. Oh, wait. I'm still in stealth. Shit. Here I am playing Wolfenstein and talking about James Bond, but why not? Roger Moore has always been my least favorite of the James Bond eras. Not that I don't like his performance. I think Roger Moore is great. I just don't like the majority of his movies. If... In fact, I like none of his movies except uh, The Spy Who Loved Me. And that's unfortunate because it did the most. He played Bond for like seven times officially. That's the most out of any actors. Uh, will you really get. If we have to go technical. Well, Sean Connery also played Bond seven times. He played them in six of the official movies and one and another one that came after this called Never Say Never Again. And it was a, not from the same Eon Productions. It was weird. Like Back then, I guess, the rules were a little bit different. And f somehow somebody found a loophole to be able to make another remake for uh, based on the same novel that uh, Thunderbolt was based on. Or maybe was that novel already called Thunderbolt? I'm not entirely sure. But the, basically it was a remake of Thunderbolt starring Sean Connery that came out in 1987. Bond's last official... Uh, Connery's last official Bond movie was Diamonds of Forever, which was shitty. But that was in like late 60s. So... This seventh Sean Connery Bond film was never supposed to be. And I believe that it came out around at the same time as uh, the the one where Roger Moore played the, what was in clown makeup that was Octopussy. So at some point in history, there were two James Bond films in theater at the same time, one staring Roger Moore and one staring Sean Connery. I'm not doing that again. So isn't that just crazy to think about? I mean, it's still possible, I guess, if, if like, say, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and Spider-Man Far From Home happened to have uh, be released at the same time that we would have two Spider-Man films in theater. One of them is, of course, animated, so it's not really a taboo or something. It's just really crazy. And both but both Bond films are clearly live action, and uh, they do use the license. It's not like Nosferatu and Dracula, where they changed the names. I mean, the change changing of names didn't, didn't actually work for Nosferatu. It was still sued. But there was... I, I just don't really know the law back then. I don't really know the law today, but I just don't know the, what differences between now and then allow them to do that. 
And I do think Never Say Never Again is a really cheeky title for that. Because at the time, Sean Connery said several times that he was going to retire from the Bond role. He did the, he did his, uh, the fifth movie was You Only Live Twice, and he already, he, he already said he's going to retire the char his character after that one. Shit. Big one is coming. Is it working? Motherfucker. So he said he was going to retire after uh, after uh, you only live twice. And so the sixth movie on Her Majesty's Secret Service starred uh, a different actor, George Lazenby. But after that one, Sean Connery came back. Well, everybody was kind of happy about that because George Lazenby wasn't pretty wasn't all that good as Bond. And so he came back to do Diamonds of Forever. And after that, he retired the character again. So you really think he will never do go back on his word a second time. But it appears he did, because you can't argue against money, right? So it's a, it's kind of a self-reference, a little jab at his, his own self. The he, the net movie was called Never Say Never Again because that's going back to his own words on a several levels. Not only are you playing the same character again, you actually are remaking one of the own your own films. I mean, <laughs> that's pretty outrageous by any standard. Which just goes to show you that nostalgia is not always a good thing because both time he came back the movie was not very good. Also it's all, it's just another th strange thing to point out is how when, when Sean Connery did, oh wait someone was playing Wolf 3D that's great great easter egg. When Sean Connery announced that he was going to retire from acting in around 2003 after they did that disastrous movie, uh, League of the Extraordinary Gentlemen, I don't think anybody took him very seriously at that time because he had already built himself a rep. Okay, this thing really doesn't help me now. This is for avoiding the big robot thing and I took, it, and I took him out really quickly. I don't think anybody took him all that seriously when he said that. But what do you know? He actually was serious. Sean Connery till this day is still retired from acting. Which I'm kind of bummed out about. But hey, if he wants to retire, he gets to retire. He made some great movies in at his time. That's all anybody can ask for. Still, when Sean Connery Sean Connery can really phone it in if he wants to but he's a great actor he's also a great actor when he really wants to probably he probably doesn't he can't shake his accent though at least I haven't heard him do do that maybe he done that sometime in his career that I don't really know I I'm not quite, uh, he's an expert or a diehard fan of his just seen a few of his movies. I remember watching The Longest Day and he turned showed up which surprised the hell out of me. It was a, such a small role and it was around the time the, same, the first Bond movie came out so he wasn't a household name at the point. Still.
how long have I been sitting here just talking about James Bond while the game is actually been progressing? It seems to, I seem to be doing better while I don't think about the game than when I do, which is strange, but not unheard of. Oops. Ah, God damn it. <laughs> Everyone take a chill pill. Aha, uh -huh. I see you. Yeah. Burning yet? And he exploded. What a dumbass. Oh no, what's gonna happen? I'm not gonna be able to pass this x-ray exam if that's what you're talking about because I'm definitely carrying contraband here. Oh, nobody cares. Oh no, somebody cares. Look. Someone's shooting me behind my back. I can feel it. Oh, are you up? Okay. I don't know why I don't really like to use the aiming mode in this game. Just seems like they maybe it's because they take up the screen too much or maybe because the the uh, ordinary shooting mode is quite sufficient. So there is an amount of... Damn it! Ah, oh, this thing is unbearable. I just have my old rifle back. Someone is desperate for a little bit of conversation. Ich 
What the hell were you doing? Well, I think that's it. Unless someone want to come out and surprise me. Oh, come on. Oh, that doesn't actually help. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are we looking at here? Is this super so are these super soldiers? Are these winter soldiers? Bucky looks way better than this. The fuck? Can I find it? Uh, what does the letter say? Let's read it. I like to read letters I find random. Oh, so I missed a lot of the letters. Right? Is that what it means? Can I read it? To Das Reich Zeitung. I don't know what that means, but is that a name or is that? A, I think that's an organization. Greetings. I read in, I read in your newspaper the other day that you are now accepting contact ads. Being of the adventurous kind, I decided to give this a shot. Here's my ad. Dear future wife, I am a tall, handsome space marine currently stationed on the moon. I have a highly successful career. My awards include the Long Service Award, the Knight's Cross of Bravery, the General Assault Badge. Back on Earth, I live in an exclusive apartment near the center of Berlin. Being hugely successful in my career, I plan on one day moving to a house on the countryside. But sometimes in space, it gets lonely without having a wife to come home to. Are you a cute young girl who likes to cook and clean? Do you have hips suited for bearing many children? Four, five, six, maybe even twelve? Are you tired of pursuing your own goals and the pressure of success, and you want to settle down as a homemaker? Then join me on a romantic date when I get back from my six-month-long space mission. I will show you the greatest time you've ever had in your life. Your future husband, Obrus the Dieter, Dieter. I don't know. That's it. Please send all applicants to Crew Module Four, Box Seven Five Six, blah blah blah. The Moon. It's the the only thing that's really awesome in this letter is that you get to address to be the moon. Charge me up, baby. And let's go. Should I do a little bit of recon before jumping down there like Obi-Wan does? Because that's really reckless. You know what? I'm just going to do Hello there. Hmm. Nobody. Is that where I'm supposed to go? Damn, this is a lot of red. My eyes are hurting. <laughs> Fucking diary! Can you just upload them all at once? What is, it, what is taking so long? Wi-Fi connection? Hello there! Always leave me hanging. Oh, am I seriously gonna go spacewalking? I'm gonna go spacewalking. 
Already, BJ really has done everything. Like, this is a huge step up. Does he have the training? Oh boy. Oh boy. This is dead space all over again. I'm expecting tentacled monsters climbing out at any second. Whee! At least I have unlimited oxygen, right? Can I leap from here to there because I'm on the moon? Nope. Gotta follow the rules, even though you're on the moon. Yep, destroying that. I don't think that's gonna attract any attention because, you know, there's... Oh, fuck! Do I have... Do other weapons work? There shouldn't be any sound effects in space. Well, as a Star Wars fan, I'm really in no position to say that. But come on, even Star Trek has sound effects in space because it's just awesome. I don't think I'm gonna fall to my death if I drop it drop from here. That's... Oh my god, no 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 I would definitely die if I drop here. Shit 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 Uh What do I do? What do I do? C climb up, yes, climb up! Come on BJ, you can do it. You can do it. I have faith in you. Hey, look at that. Maybe I could just fly over there. Oh my god, I'm saved. Is this actually some place that I'm supposed to be? Okay. Well, I'm sure I missed a hell lot of stuff up there, but I'm alive. Wait, I might just... I might just simply back to where where I was. Should I wear the suit and get out again? Or is this another place? I can't really tell because they look all similar. Whoa. Oh my god. Do you have to do that now?
So where is the abandoned skin? Oops. Okay, let, let me just take out that robot in. Ah, the other fucking guy distracted him. Got this! Haha! -ha. Did, didn't see that coming, did you? Yeah, you big buffoon. Wait, can you actually? Oh, if you can fire at me, then not, then I should be able to kill you from here too. Yes, logic. Oh, so these glasses can be shattered. I hate I <laughs> mildly annoyed him to death. Uh, this is rich. Someone say something. Oh, well, shit. Only one of the turret. There's someone now. Shit. Hey, hey, hey. Look at this. I found a secret tunnel. Oh, what I really need is more health.
What the hell happened? Did I kill that guy or not? Okay, this is a really shitty place to hide. Well, that did something. How about now? Anybody still shooting at me? Some people in this room have principal differences with me. Head. Okay, I think we can go. On the fucking moon. <laughs> if there were like soldiers, oh, there actually are soldiers here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't even have a fucking chance. Every bullet counts. Ah, oh, god damn. Where did that go? These things deployed so fast. Come out. Yeah. That's how that's why I wanted you to come out. You should not have listened to me. Uh, that's another room cleared. Damn, I am awesome. Ah, spoke too soon. Super Sultan are being manufactured. From what we 
we know, there should be a point of entry to the war room from that area. Is that point entry supposed to be this way? Find those nuclear decryption keys. Get off this space rock. You got a monologue a little bit lighter, dude. Ah, oh, shit. Hey. Before I press that button there, let's go take a look. I'm <laughs> gonna confiscate some of your uh, min minute of the meetings here. For research purposes. Okay, nothing interesting here. Let's go back for the button. Right. I'm printing decryption keys now. You've done it, Blaskovich. Of course. Now get your butt back to Earth, please, William. Klaus is in London. He will bring oh, you man. to Berlin once you land. I thought I was going for the door. Oh, there we go. I don't think there's stealthing through this because the minute I appear on that stairway, they're gonna see me. I'm gonna take that guy out. Good. This guy did not understand how he died. If only you can charge your phone this quickly. So, how do I get back to Earth? Is that gonna be tricky? Oh, I wish I had no German. Would have understood this game a whole lot better. So, not going through this way.
This is where I came from, so definitely not. Class Alpha Security. Yeah, you. I would say that. If you let BJ into your facility, then you got one hell of a security bridge. Am I supposed to jump from here or something? Or maybe I should just go through this place. You know when when all our other options fail, the only options, however unlikely, will be the truth. Who said that? Sherlock Holmes or Spock? Oh, maybe both. Not word to word, of course. Ah, damn. I really should look more closely before I take shit. So, this looks like the subway. Do you have subway on, on the moon? Because that's awesome. Surprise, motherfucker! What, the other guys just... no reaction at all? Yay! Got onto the shuttle. There we go. So when you have a first class security bridge, you don't immediately block out all transportation. You still allow things to go get out of the moon. That's pretty shitty. Are you singing? Oh shit. What? Oh shit! Okay, I just got to another part of the base. Uh, this is getting increasingly resembling to Dead Space. If you if you've played Dead Space, you probably know what I'm talking about. Oh shit. He wanted to surprise me. Well, how did that work out for you? How is that ever going to work out for you? Sorry, I had to kill your fine, you fine ge young gentleman. No, actually, I'm not all that sorry, but. And I'm gonna kill more of you. Shit.
Damn! I thought I was gonna throw a knife at him and kill him like really awesome like... Didn't work out. Oh, I'm back here. Where's the guy that runs the checks? Hey, is he still here? What happened? Someone's shooting. I got shot! By whom? Ah, oh, man. I threw off two, two knives for no reason. What do we have here? Study New World Peaceful and pros Prosperous. Berlin, November 15th. The world has never been more peaceful than it is right now, new study proves. Germans are wealthy and healthy, and according to the study, they are happier than before, content with their lives, and have a positive outlook on the future. Furthermore, our Lebens Rom almost covers 75% of Earth's habitable places, and expansion into space is coming soon. Many analysts predict the next expansion will take us to Venus. You know, it's an uh, interesting topic to think about. If like one country just rules the entire world, what is going to be the living standard of that country's citizens? I mean, everyone else is, of course, screwed up. But what, what about their own citizens? Are they actually going to be better off than before? I don't, I'm not sure. I mean, it's better if we never find out for sure anyway. No! Oh shit. He's not that kind of guy. He's not that kind of guy. Where'd he go? Where do you think you're going? Ignoring me? Oh boy. Shit. Of course, something's coming up. Uh, something always comes up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you see how fast my health is dropping? What the fuck? Okay, that's a lifesaver. Ah! Hey. Okay, here we go. We're gonna die! Or not, it's a choice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus. Whew. Made it. Commander Central in London, Nautica. A transporter number four. The Magnarin was vernichtet. I was one of the terrorists angegriffen and I'm gerade mit dem Leben davon gekommen. Ah. He got the message out. Things I've seen in this life. Strange shit that turns your stomach. 
turns your hair white. All right, Captain Cowboy. Roger. This is your buddy boy Klaus Kreuzer, the car heading toward the London Nautica. Roger. Find your way down to the parking lot and I will pick you home. Roger. The scene of thousand battles. The London Nautica is opening fire. I think they are shooting at you. You see the sun set on five different continents. The dust rise off the surface of the moon. Well, we are already branded a terrorist, so can't get any worse. Daylight, cold air, still alive, it seems. Yeah, that's kind of strange. Uh, BJ, you might want to get up a little bit. Yeah, you're being shot at. Just in case that isn't very clear. I can't get him to get up. I hope there's a firefight outside that the resistance are fighting on my behalf, because we're not. Sh I'm not just being bombarded. Oh, okay, I'm being bombarded. No one is fighting on my behalf. Fuck them all. Uh, do I have to? When did I? S when did I switch back to Earth weapons? Um, is this this is supposed to happen, right? Oh. Crap. Crap! <laughs> okay, this guy is. This is not his lucky day. Well, back to normal. Don't have any grenades. Pity. Oh god, oh god, oh god, no. Shit! He got me like in one shot. Uh, I can't be caught. I can't be in that corner. They, there are way more enemies than I thought. Way tougher ones. All of them are at least like officers, and one of them is the heavy armor bastard. Shit. Why am I back here again? Where am I? Where the stuff? Oh, they took all the supplies and they left me with barely any health, and. So, what am I supposed to do with. What am I supposed to kill them with? Idealism? Oh my god. I, I am so screwed. Shit. You can't do that to me. You can't just take the take the shit away. I mean, I got killed while I have everything. How do you expect me to survive this? Wow, this is going to be tough. This is going to take a few tries. So do they know I'm here yet? Yes, there is no stealth in this. Shh. 
shit. Ah. Uh, how do I do this? Can I just brave through everything? Can I just charge through the area? Do I have to kill everyone? Because I would, I would choose progress over everything else now. Usually I like to, you know, kill everybody, but don't think I'm in a position to do that. Okay, okay, okay. No. Ah. I'm in hell. I'm stuck in hell. This is there, there's no way out of this. I go back out of the window. What other weapons do I have? Then it's this one. It's not even fully charged. Okay, here we go. Oh, fuck. I have to take that thing out while I have while I can, but this is gonna be so hard. This is whenever I actually accomplish to get out of this alive, it's gonna be because of pure dumb luck. This is not a preferable weapon unless... I need to save the shot for the big guy. No! <sighs> I'm so stuck. I have so few things to, to do anything here. Oh, I have full health now? How? Ah, uh, he kills me every time. I can't kill him even with a fully charged shot. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of the corner, but there's like nowhere else I can go. I need to explore options. Use the uh, cutting mode to cut aluminum covered metal crates. Are there any places I can cut through from here? Nope. Where are 
are they? Show up. He's here. What the fuck now? This gotta be everything's gotta go right for this to work. What do we even have to do with this? I can't really go in. I don't see anywhere I can really hide. I don't see anywhere I can like cut it off. As soon as I show up a little bit. Oh no. <sighs> Do you guys see any place I can hide? Decrypting Enigma codes will unlock bonus gameplay modes. I well I collected some. I don't think I'm anywhere at decrypting them. You seriously asking me to decrypt Enigma codes? Like, isn't that almost impossible? Oh, I also have this, which is empty. I'm getting desperate, I just don't know what You can just jump off the balcony no problem, superhero landing. I know I'm supposed to save that energy, but you know, for what? It doesn't even hurt him. And he can dodge that. I don't know what I picked up something. I don't know what I picked up, so I don't know what I don't know what to choose from. I think I picked up some bullets on the way. 
It's just what I have is not enough to do anything, and it's impossible for me to get to any of them. Unless I wait for... I wait for one of them to come to me. I kill them on the spot, then I can take his ammo on the spot. But it's not like this is such a great place to hide or anything. Ah! I really could use some dumb luck right now. Yes, dead eye. That was as good a, a, a go as I could possibly fathom at this point. It's still not enough. I could throw everything, if, if it's only just the armored guy himself, I don't even think I can defeat him, let alone all, everything else. What can I possibly do at this situation to, to amend this? Like, it's not like I'm in stealth mode right now. Like, everything I do draws their attention. They're already coming up to me. Like, I didn't even trigger their alarm. They came to me. God! <sighs> I don't know about this. I'm not gonna give up on the game, but like... What the fuck? The first time, I kind of felt like it was doable. Just to go through another army of Nazi, like, what's the, what's the news? But this is hardcore survival mode here and I didn't sign up for it See how many shots it, it takes to kill one of them? Okay, not that many if you really aim it well. Wait for the health to recharge. Oh my god, did I do that? Did I actually kill him? Wow. For the first time in forever, I might actually live through this. For the first time in forever. Oh, I have seven of. I have seven of grenades? I didn't know that. For the first time in forever I'm now staring at my death I'm 
still at a disadvantage here, so can't really relax. Jeez. Yeah, that is the death spot. I found I found out about that a hard way. <laughs> I actually did that. What the hell happened? Okay, let's check out. <laughs> yeah, Anya, you just hold on while I read an article here. Biggest gun ever constructed. The super weapons division of our military has created the largest weapon in the world. In the vast darkness of space, far above Earth looms a gigantic orbital mirror, which can harness the power of the sun itself. <clears throat> the Sonagra. I think I'm just probably like the Starkiller base. In the center of the mirror, a 2.5 kilometer long space station juts out, aimed directly at Earth. When activated, the focuses the sun's energy into a death ray capable of incinerating entire cities and boiling the oceans. With this weapon, we can truly strike down on the anarchists and the terrorists lurking in the darkest corners of the Earth without sending in our brave troops to their potential deaths, commented the head of the project, Hans Grubst. The risk of collateral damage is minimal, if not non-existent. Well, it's minimal as long as you don't admit to any collateral damage. Grenades. You guys don't have any health packs here because I'm running low. I just came through a greatly traumatic event. Uh, anyway, let's go. Wow. Just. Okay. If that's how you want to play. That's a little scary. So is this! Oh my god. Oh. Stupid way to die. Why did you give me that option? Why did you allow me to saw through the other end? Oh, I was uh, I was wondering if I needed to, you know, go back to the previous checkpoint again. Yeah, let's not waste too much energy. 
It's cathartic, no doubt about it, but... Oops. Nope. Huh? Oh, it, re it is this door. It didn't look like it. Who saw me? <laughs> okay, this is a really lame way to die. I wasn't in fire mode. And I'm way too low on health to be doing that. Uh, I'm kind of exhausted from that previous sequence. But you know, I'm going to stay professional. Fucking Nazis. Oh my god! I would... I, I would say I wasn't properly prepared, but... Fuck, how do you prepare for this? Jesus! This game is getting so fucking impossible all of a sudden. It throws everything at you, like all at once. Without giving me any health. Okay. Okay. Knowing what I'm about to face. I can at least make some preparations. Is there any way I can... Oh. There are actually supplies here. Not much. Um. Oh, I'm in London. Charming. Knowing what I know, I can at least... Mentally prepare it. I mean, there's no physically preparing for it. Yeah. How about that? It's a trap, isn't it? Fuck! I finally got to kill him, but... Okay, the grenades aren't working. Just gotta laser him the next time. I'm definitely not cutting through Nazis like you would expect BJ to be able to do. No, reality is much harsher. You missed? Did you just miss? Ah! Oh, there is a charger right over there, but how am I supposed to charge that without being shot? <laughs> Jesus! It's still the health problem. I have too little health to begin with. I'm in no shape to go through this. Get 
Whoa. Come out. Wait, I have 80, 80 health now? Why is it that the, that the checkpoint is so random? Like. It just randomly decides how much health do you have. What the fuck? Oh, I've... Come out there. Yeah, how about that? You Nazi shit. You know, I'm just gonna wait out here and kill all of you this exact manner. It's proven to be doable. What is that? Supposed to be grenade? Finally got some health. Well, girlfriend is just back home dying while we are exploring Nazi offices. We have London Degenerates Riot. In light of recent tumultuous events in the city, the London police organized a press conference to clarify the situation. The recent outbursts of violent and anarchist behavior in the quarantine blocks is starting to escalate into an uncontrollable situation, said the chief of police. Last night, hundreds of degenerates gathered in public places to riot, but were quickly put to a halt when the police deployed the London Monitor. The operation was an incredible success. The Monitor killed every degenerate without any collateral damage whatsoever, said the chief of police at this morning's press conference. But it's not over. We have to be swift when dealing with these sorts of people. If you can call them people. Ah, well, that's convincing. Okay, do you want me to jump? Because I will jump. I'm jumping. Uh, wait, was I supposed to jump? <laughs> was I supposed to just shoot him or... Can I... Oh, I can stay here. Great, I'll, I'll, shoot, I'll shoot them then. So glad I wasn't up there. Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking why couldn't I get in th this? Of course, I have to cut myself. I was thinking 
the game was supposed to let me in. But you have to earn your own entrance. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's uncalled for. Helicopter attacking me? Well, then I attack the helicopter. It's that simple. Okay. This desk is failing me. Where's the attack coming from? <laughs> wow, this is not to be trifled with. Now we got that out of the way. All these surprise attacks, it's like they really care about me. Ah, you did surprise me. Good job. So, what were you doing on this blackboard? That's very elaborate for a blackboard presentation. Not going up here. So further down? Yep, further down. Okay. Ow. Fuck you already. Ah, oh, I should have used something stronger, but I I didn't want to have to switch weapon because th that takes a lot of time for me to be attacked open openly. Those those guys are so fucking impossibly tough. You have to take them out in very specific means. You think, like, 
four clips of bullets would be one of those means, but apparently not. Where am I? Where did you put me? Oh. I don't, I don't get I don't get this perspective. I don't know what how to aim this one. Is it Christmas? Do they still celebrate Christmas? I assume they do. Maybe not as prominent as, you know, Hitler's birthday. Or even Hitler's puppy's birthday. The monitor? Th isn't that the thing that quelled the riot? Oh shit! Are you fucking kidding me? Bullshit! Well, do you have any suggestions? Oh, defeat the London Monitor. Yeah, sure, I'll just dis defeat this guy. Why not? You think? Think. Think whatever it means to defeat it. Whatever it means to defeat it probably lies in this weapon. You can only kill me once, right? Where is... Where am I? What am I doing? Come on, open up! Oh, that actually worked. Shit. Um, did they just destroy that tunnel? Come on. Oh, open something up. Do it again.
No shit. Give it your best try. Cowboy shooting. I've been in hell. So, what can you do for, to me now? <laughs> Why is it like so easy once you know how to do it? Wait, did you just... Sh did he just shift position? Oh, That's a big fireball. Overcompensating much? Shit. Kill it. I gotta take out that bitch of a machine gun. What is even going on? I'm not concealed. Do your worst. Hey there. You know you can just step on it, right? Last one. So I think they're using some kind of flamethrower now. That's uh, good to know. Uh, shit. Did I do it? Oh no! It got me. I thought I already. I thought I got it to be honest. I shot a missile to it. At really close range. If it, if I was to die, like I I'm supposed to die because of the blast of that thing. I wonder how where it's gonna set me. I wonder where it's gonna set me up. Oh, of course. You know what? Next time. <laughs> So thank you for watching. This has been an epic playthrough so far, and I and a very challenging. It's way more challenging than I would have thought, but it's also really good. So thanks for watching, and uh, until next time, have a good one.